Voices of Bravery, honoring the veterans of Vietnam. Sponsored by Duval Motor Company. We're by the USS Orlick, marking 50 years since the last American combat soldier came home from Vietnam. But how much do we really know about the sacrifices they made? Agent Orange. Used by the United States to deforest, defoliate, kill as much vegetation as possible to take away the ambush hiding spots of the Viet Cong. Soldiers sprayed it from riverboats and dropped it on forests from the sky, and no one could hide from it. Everybody's got a story. <clears throat> Tony Mann's raspy voice tells a story too, and likely will for the rest of his life. And they go down and clean up the, they check the esophagus, make sure there's no cancer, because I was a very, I was borderline cancer for the esophagus. So they burn off the cells, they send them in and find out what the status is. His two year exposure to Agent Orange has him making frequent trips to the VA. I had two minor strokes. Uh, back in 2016, and they they said it was due to Asian orange because they cut me open, and uh, um, I have to go back to Minnesota every year for the rest of my life and have a procedure done. But before that, Tony's Vietnam story. I joined the service basically to serve my country, and I served it very proudly. He enlisted in the U.S. Army, knowing he'd be sent overseas, was assigned to the 199th Infantry Brigade, became a specialist, handling artillery known as the Four Deuce, patrolling a perimeter around Saigon. We were the best that the, that, that the government ever had. Till this day, we're still the best that the government ever had. The minute that phone rings, everybody grabs their steel pot, their bulletproof vest, and runs out to the gun pit and sits there and waits for the coordinates. And that patrolling meant long marches through the jungle and the swamps, all while clouds of gun smoke and chemicals fell from the sky, exposing some three million U.S. troops. When you're in water, you're walking around with, you're, you're absorbing Asian orange. I have a friend of mine that um, in Minnesota, uh, he was dying from Asian orange big time. He was dumped on four times out in the field, literally. I mean, his heart was being eaten away. One of the consequences of the vast amounts of Agent Orange that were used is that now it constitutes a war crime. Of course, it wasn't just U.S. soldiers exposed to the chemical. Countless cases of cancer and extreme birth defects plagued the Vietnamese as well. Long-term impact exposure to Agent Orange has been cancer. It has been birth defects. It's been a variety of health related ailments that only recently has the Veterans Administration acknowledged. Do I have friends that are still alive? Um, no, not so many. One that I know of. It's eaten at him. Three times in country, he says he had a gun in hand, ready to commit suicide. The first time is when I took somebody out. Second time was when friend of mine got killed. The third time is when I lost five guys. Haunting memories he continues to live with and physical scars, constant medical treatment from a war he still has to fight internally. It changed my life yeah. for, for, for the rest of my life. And of course, Tony, we salute you for the sacrifice you continue to make each and every day. And don't miss our special April 13th, Voices of Bravery. We continue to honor the veterans of Vietnam.